Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And this is going to be a quick video tutorial. I'm going to be using the Parallax.js widget, the Muse Motion 2 widget, and the Particles.js widget. So here I have this example. Um, it's called UX Design, and U UX stands for User Experience. So it's kind of like a mobile app type of idea. And here I have the different layers of the mobile app. And when I hover my mouse over it, uh, the the different layers move and that's with the parallax.js widget. And then we have some particles here in the background, and that's with the particles.js widget. And if I click on refresh, with the Muse Motion 2 widget, the different layers fade in. So when the user first goes uh, to the website, the layers fade in, and it looks really good. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna see how well I do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate this website in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to go to my Adobe Muse website. I'm going to go to File, New Site. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to double click. And then I'll op open up that Illustrator file, which I have right here. So I'll double click, click on Yes. And here's the image. I got it from Adobe Stock. So I'll delete these backgrounds here. And I'll grab each layer one by one. And I'll just move them, uh, yeah, just move them around uh, like so. So let me grab this one, or I'll grab the bottom one here and just move this out like that and we'll move this little piece right there where it should be just like that and we'll move it right on the phone and let's move it a little bit different yeah it looks pretty good okay and i'm going to delete some of these um these light layers on the different elements all right, because I'm going to paste them as SVG, and some sometimes when pasting as SVG, those um, different layers don't look that great. Um, so that's it. So I have my three different parts right here, and let me just lock this phone here so I can move these little things up a little bit, just like that. And yeah, there we go. That looks good. Okay, maybe to the left. No, that looks good there. All right, perfect. So now we have our three different sections. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy this bottom section. Uh, so let me unlock everything. So I'll copy this. I'll go into Adobe Muse and paste, just like that. Then I'll go back into Illustrator. I'll grab the second layer, copy. Oh, and this layer has a light layer in there, so I'll just remove that. And I'll copy this, go into Muse and paste. And then we have one more layer, which is right here. I'll copy this and paste into Adobe Muse. All right, so there are the different layers. It looks good. And they're all in the right order. Okay, so now I'll bring in the parallax.js widget. So I'll go to my library panel. I'll type in parallax.js. If you don't see your library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library and it'll bring up the library panel. So I'll bring in my parallax.js widget, and there it is. So there's the widget, and I wanna assign the graphic style name uh, layer one and layer two and layer three to these different elements. So I'll click on the first one, go to graphic styles, click on the graphic styles icon here that looks like a little icon uh, with a folded corner. It creates a new style, so I'll double click. I'll call this layer one. I'll go into the next one, create a new graphic style, call this layer two. Go into the third one, new graphic style, and call this layer three. All right, and that's it for the graphic styles. And what I wanna do for the parallax.js is create a rectangle in the background of all of these elements and set the rectangle to 100% width. So I'll click resize, stretch to browser width. I'll right click, arrange, and send to back. And then I'll give, the, give this rectangle the graphic style name uh, scene one, because in the graphic style, in the parallax.js, we have the graphic styles, and the scene graphic style name is scene one, and that's the, rec the rectangle that we brought behind all of the elements. And then we have layer one, two, and three. So if I go into, into preview page and browser, we have the parallax motion there, and we're gonna have to change the movement a little bit. So for the first movement, I'm gonna say point, uh, 0.3, second one, point 0.6, and the third one, point 0.9. Okay, so I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and there we have that nice movement. Looks good. And if I wanted to get it to exact how it was uh, with 
the image. I'll just undo all of this, just like that. I'll just copy all of this, uh, go into Muse, paste. Okay, and there's the image. So I'll just right click, arrange, send to back, and I can just make sure that all of these elements line up with the image. Just like that. And perfect, looks good. So I'll go to my layers panel and I'll just delete the, this image in the background. All right, so there I have my elements. I'll center it in the middle, looks good. And then for the browser fill, um, I memorized the hex code. So it's two, three, two, three, two, three. And that's the, uh, the color for the background. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll sample this green color from this button. So I'll go to the background, to the browser fill. I'll click on the browser fill. I'll select the sample color tool and I'll sample this green color. And then I'll click add swatch and click OK. So now we have that green color in the color swatches. Um, and I'll just uh, say 232323 two, three, two, three again for that darker background color. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll bring in the particles.js widget. So I'll go into the library panel and I'll type in particles.js and I'll click hold and drag, place onto the Adobe Muse website and then I'll stretch this, stretch this to the browser fill so it's 100% width and I'll go into the widget options. For the container height, I'll say 1000 so it covers the entire browser and I'll fix this to the top so I'll pin it so that uh, it doesn't move um, within the browser. And then for the particles, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 40 particles. And for the particle color, I'll say this green color. Uh, particle shape, I'll say edge, so it's a square. And that's all I have to do there. And then for the opacity, I'll set an uh, enable random opacity and set the opacity animation. For the line link, I don't want line link, so I'll uncheck enable line link. And then for interactivity, I don't want any interactivity on hover or on click. So that's all set there. And then I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2 widget to add some animation to the different elements. So I'll click on the add first, just like that. And then I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2, um, the sequence. I want to bring in the 2D transformations, the sequence, just like that. And we'll bring it right there. And then for the different animations, for animation 1, I'll say layer 1 and animation two, I'll say layer two for the graphic style name, and animation three, I'll say layer three, just like that. And for the time scale, I'll say two, so it's a little bit faster, and that's all we're, we have to do with that. And so now I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. There we have the phone, and we have the different uh, layers, and they fade in with the Muse Motion 2, and we have the particles.js in the background. I might make uh, those particles a little bit slower, so I'll go to the widget options, go to movement, and I'll set it to a speed of four, and I'll write uh, UX design here at the top. So I'll type in UX design. Okay, and I'll say 36, uh, make it white, and I'll center it, and I'll change the font to uh, ASAP, just like that. Okay, and I'll bring in the font smoother, just to make the font a little bit smoother. Okay, font smoother light, click, hold, and drag, and place right there. Looks good. And I'll, uh, let's see, I'll move these elements. Let me lock these elements here, object lock, and I'll move this down a little bit, just like that. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and there we go. We have the different elements fading in. We can move the elements with the parallax.js widget, and we have the particles.js in the background. And I'll move this down even a little bit more, just like that. All right, one more time, and looks good. Perfect, and I'll move UX design down as well. And I'll align to center, yeah, there we go. All right, file preview page and browser, and yeah, it looks good, very nice. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, we used the parallax.js widget for the movement here. Uh, we used the Muse Motion 2 widget to fade in the different elements, and we used the particles.js widget for the different particles in, in the background. Uh, so to get access to this widget, you simply go, or to these widgets, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, uh, and then you can click on the pop-up here, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. 
or if you'd like to purchase with PayPal, you can he click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widgets individually, you can click on the widget uh, and click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Um, and the widgets are here. Here's the uh, Parallax.js widget. Here's the Muse Motion 2 widget uh, right here. And the Particles.js widget right here. All right, so I'll, I'll go back to the top here, and uh, here's the parallax.js, or I'll, I'll go back to the home page here. Um, so hopefully, um, I don't think that was five minutes, but I think I probably kept it under 10 minutes, which um, I kind of wanted to make it a shorter video just to showcase uh, you know, what you can do with these widgets and just create a, a really fun and, and kind of cool design there. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.